the grunge revolution starts percolating in Seattle. You could just feel days of rain in the music. It was this whole lifestyle. Oh, they all wear plaid. Legends are born. Nirvana borrowed $600 and we made the Bleach album. But success. Kurt was on fire, audience going crazy. Comes with a price. It's better to burn out than to fade away. If you think Seattle was sort of dark and depressed in 90s, I mean, Aberdeen. If any place in the Pacific Northwest there's excess rain, it's there. Aberdeen is just one of many small logging towns still hurting from the 80s recession. High unemployment leads to high levels of alcoholism. It's here that a local band named Nirvana first hears about Sub Pop's talented producer, Jack Andino. Kurt just called up and said, yeah, I just, I've got this band. We're coming from Aberdeen. Uh, we want to record a few songs. We just need an afternoon. And I thought, OK. One five-hour session, they recorded 10 songs. You know, I basically mixed it right then and there. I thought, this band is kind of cool. You know, who are these guys? I, I kind of like this. I said, hey, you know, do you mind if I roll the tape again to make myself a copy of these mixes? And they said, yeah, go ahead and make a copy for yourself. And I gave a copy of it to, to Bruce and John. Jonathan liked it. Bruce wasn't sure. Sub Pop adds Nirvana's Love Buzz to the singles club. It does OK, but Pavitt's not convinced they're ready for a full album. And so they said, if we pay for it ourselves, can we make a full album if we pay for the session? So Nirvana borrowed $600 from a friend of theirs, and we made the Bleach album. The Bleach album boosts both Kurt's and Nirvana's confidence, and they start killing it at local shows. Kurt was like on fire, like the audience going crazy. It was incredible, and I couldn't take enough pictures. Nirvana's first album doesn't break any sales records, but Sub Pop now sees the band's potential and takes them on a European tour with Tad and Mud Honey. But being on tour almost proves too much for the band from Aberdeen's frontman. John and I decided to put together a showcase in London. Now, a week prior to the showcase, Kurt literally had what I would call a breakdown on stage. Uh, they didn't finish the show. He told the rest of the band that he could not do this anymore and that the band was breaking up. John took Kurt around the block, just trying to chill him out and, and give him some perspective and give him some support. Kurt said, you know, when I look out into the audience, what I see, I see all the kids who wanted to beat me up in high school. We pulled Kurt aside and spent the day with him in Rome, and we did some sightseeing for him to just experience, you know, one of the world's greatest cities, chill out and have some good food. I think he was able to regain his spirit. So when the bands finally played London at the Astoria to a sold-out crowd of 2,000 people, they, they blew some minds. With the release of Bleach and the buzz growing around Nirvana's European tour, the once unknown band now has interest from major record labels. And there are rumors that Nirvana is thinking about making a change. At that time, Kurt definitely was going to a major, and there was nothing that I could say that was going to change that. The part of him that wanted to be a pop star was starting to come out, and the rest is history. Nirvana leaves Sub Pop for Geffen Records. Only months later, they released their second album, Nevermind. The first single, Smells Like Teen Spirit, goes triple platinum. There were a bunch of different radio programmers and record label people. We were all outside CBGB's for some sh showcase in New York City. And the whole conversation on the sidewalk was all about this new song. What are the lyrics? What is he saying? We felt that it was a tremor of something that was starting to happen. Major earthquake, a blowtorch. Nevermind knocks hair bands off the charts and catapults grunge into the top 40. Something happened. They flipped the script, and they were the crazy, the big band, just almost overnight. For Kurt Cobain, it brings only darkness. Until we confirm and notify the family, we will not release the name. 